थैंक यू वेरी मच रिस्पेक्टेड प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑफ इंडिया श्री नरेंद्र भाई मोदी जी डॉक्टर मनसुख मांडविया ऑनरेबल मिनिस्टर फॉर हेल्थ फैमिली वेलफेयर केमिकल एंड फर्टिलाइजर माय कलीग्स फ्रॉम द इंडस्ट्री द ग्लोबल लीडर्स एंड स्टेक होल्डर्स द गवर्नमेंट ऑफिशियल्स इंडस्ट्री एकेडेमिया पार्टी पार्टिसिपेंट्स इन्वेस्टर्स रिसर्चर्स फ्रॉम ऑल ओवर द वर्ल्ड वेलकम एंड इट इज इंडीड अ प्लेजर टू सी यू ऑल इन दिस कॉन्फ्रेंस it is honor to have among us today our honorable prime minister narendra modi ji whose leadership vision has given the inspiration for all of us in creating an atmanirbhar bharat in healthcare it also look forward to a special address from him today to further booster our moral and our capabilities going forward the indian pharmaceutical industry has been at the forefront of the service of the nation for 120 years it has been making a difference in the people's lives across the world by providing access to therapies and reducing the disease burden across the world rightly called the pharmacy of the world india contributes about 20% share of the global supply of medicines by volume and supplies around 60% of demand of vaccines globally the indian pharmaceutical industry is a 45 billion dollar industry in size and ranks third worldwide in production of volume and 38th and 13th in value india has played a vital role in supply of high quality medicines for several diseases like chronic myeloid leukemia hepatitis hiv aids to name a few india today is polio free because of the strong collaboration among vaccine manufacturers healthcare providers government and development organizations global unmet care needs like nefeld nash which has no cure anywhere in the world can be now treated today with a product of indian innovation saroglitazar india's researchers have indigenously developed vaccines for covid-19 in record time like bharat biotech co vaccine and also the world's first dna vaccines i co d during the pandemic which witnessed one of the toughest healthcare challenge of all the times the indian pharmaceutical industry rose to the challenge and effectively managed all critical supplies of diagnostics vaccine therapeutics to people of india people in india and across the world continue to depend on indian vaccines and pharmaceutical manufacturers to get their supply of medication as per data india exported 6.63 crore doses of covid vaccines to more than 95 countries in since may 2021 india thus is all set to play a even bigger role in the world drug security and become the most favored pharmaceutical market in the world atmanirbhar bharat took a whole new meaning with india underlining the importance of self reliance and agility in their uncertain times ipa has always played an important role in addressing the needs of future development of indian pharmaceutical industry and the country after focusing a lot on quality excellence ipa is now converging the stakeholder for a meaningful dialogue on innovation as well we thank the government for all the support this initiative led by our honorable prime minister shri narendra modi ji recently government india has released draft rnd policy catalyze research and development and innovation in pharma and medtech sector in india on 25th october 2021 the objective is to strengthen the innovation ecosystem for pharmaceutical sector in india and encourage research and development activity india despite of its strong position in generics has yet to demonstrate sustain high capability in pharmaceutical drug delivery and biopharmaceutical new drug 
development. We account for significant share in generic market. However, we have to go a long way in the innovative space account, which accounts for 65% of the global pharmaceutical market. Therefore, building an innovative ecosystem will be a game changer for the country. In India, the Indian pharmaceutical industry is poised to take a big leap forward in this decade. The vision of industry is to move to $130 billion size by 2030. Building further on the mission of self-reliant Atmanibar Bharat, we need to see how innovation can be the new pillars of success for growth in, by 2030. This will only be possible moving as we are moving ahead in value chain. This summit is a path-breaking one, and as we, we are looking for at different dimensions and approaches to create an innovation ecosystem in India, it will make a huge contribution to the all proceedings. From the Make in India to Discover in India, the summit will explore how industry can bring innovation at the center stage. To make it this happen, we need to understand how the foundation of a strong innovative culture can be inbuilt at every step of innovation value chain. This will include infrastructure, building capabilities, retaining talent, promoting academia industry collaboration, and so on. Beyond understanding the best approaches that have worked globally, we'll also need to see how it can take root in India and be, be sustainable in our context. We are poised at a new beginning, which brings together different stakeholders on one single platform of making R&D and innovation in India a force to reckon with. I'm sure that all of us together will help to co-create new horizon where innovation strengthens the Atmanirbhar Bharat. We are encouraged by the support and, and guidance provided by our Honorable Prime Minister for this event. And we are, thank you, we are, th we are thankful for him to be with us today to uh, motivate us to more. Thank you very much. Jai Hind. Namaskar. Thank you, Mr. Patel. Next, may I please request Dr. Mansub Manvia, Union Minister for Health and Family Welfare and Chemicals and Fertilizers, to share his thoughts with us. 